who have seven children. Well, that's quite a family. Teresa and Joe Sokolik. Right. Thank you. Hi, folks. How are you? Seven children. That's uh, quite a nice brood. Uh, what do you do, Joe? Uh, you work with numbers. I'm an accountant. <laughs> you work with numbers. I would suspect that your wife does a pretty good job with numbers, too. Uh, let's see how well she does here with this pricing game. And now let's meet your challenges again, Richard Hayes. And speaking of numbers, I have a couple of... ...expecting their first little stranger. I see. Would you like to say hello to Rosemary and Ralph Costa? <laughs> yes, huh? I would. Thank you. When do you expect that first uh, arrival? In July. In, in July. In July. Do you have any preference, boy or girl? Oh, I want twins. Twins. What do you think about that, Ralphie, babe? Once enough. I see. Two taxes, definitely. Yes, you never <laughs> thought about that either. Huh? I tell you right now, we're going to have you fellows join Richard Hayes over at the checkout area where we will be meeting you for this week. But right now, I'm going to conduct a pricing game with our ladies. I think, girls, what we'll do, we'll continue along the lines of what we had before, the kind of food items that you would not have one without the other. And we'll, of course, add 15 seconds to your runner's sweeping time for each one that you come the closest to. Here's the first one. And certainly we never think about potatoes without having gravy. So I have five pounds of potatoes and two cans of beef gravy. Please check out on your machines what you think is the exact retail price. Five pounds of potatoes, two cans of beef gravy. A little bell that you heard means the time is up. Up now, we lock the machines. You can make no further changes. Beryl, what did you check it out for? 76 cents. 76 cents. And Teresa? Dollar seven. A dollar seven. Rosemary? 75. 75 oh. cents. That's pretty close. Let's see who's the closest. The automatic counter has it at 68 cents. And Rosemary, you are the closest. You pick up 15 seconds. And also, we have the potatoes and the gravy. Now, our next 15 second item. Of course, if we talk of these as francs, we could have them with something else. But when we talk of them as hot dogs, we've got to have hot dog rolls. Here I have the contents of two one-pound packages of Food Fair skinless hot dogs sold by the package and two packages of hot dog buns. Please check out on your machines what you think is the exact retail price. <laughs> yes, indeed. We'll give you an extra second, Teresa. Take your time. A little extra change. Now we like that machine. Okay, we're going for 15 seconds again. And for the hot dog, Beryl, what did you say this time? Two dollars and five cents. Two dollars and five cents. Teresa? Two dollars. Two dollars even. Rosemary? A dollar seventy-five. A dollar seventy-five. Okay, the automatic counter to see who's the closest. The exact retail price is one dollar and sixty-eight cents. <laughs> Rosemary, you're the closest again. You pick up another 15 seconds for your runner. And we have the hot dogs and the buns. Are you a... Uh, <laughs> How long have you been married, by the way? Oh, it'll be four years. Four years. Mm -hmm. Well, you're probably the newest shopper of the crowd, maybe, but you've had good experience. <laughs> Let's see what our next item is going to be. Here we have two items, and uh, these are not the two items which necessarily go together, but if you are going to have cold cereal, you certainly have got to have sugar, and you have got to have milk. So I have two quarts of homogenized vitamin D milk and a five-pound bag of pure cane granulated sugar. Please check out what you think is the exact retail price. Now, Beryl, what did you say this time? Dollar seventeen. A dollar seventeen, Teresa. Dollar three. A dollar three, Rosemary. A dollar five. A dollar five. The automatic counter with the exact retail price. Dollar thirteen, and Beryl, you came through. You pick up fifteen seconds for your runner, running your total up to one forty-five, and also we have the milk and the sugar. Our fourth and final item: you certainly cannot have bread without butter. I have three pounds of frozen bread dough sold by the individual package. These are three one-pound packages. And also an eight-ounce container of lightly salted whipped butter. Three one-pound loaves of frozen bread dough and an eight-ounce container of lightly salted whipped butter. Please check out what you think is the exact retail price. <laughs> and again, for 15 seconds, Beryl, what did you say this time? $1.54. $1.54, Teresa? $95. 95 cents, Rosemary? $1.20. $1.20, the automatic counter, the exact retail price. $1 even. Teresa, you come through at the end, taking up 15 seconds. Your runner now will have 1 minute 45 seconds of time. And of course, you have the bread and the butter. Rosemary, you're the top one. Your runner will have 2 minutes of time. Beryl, yours will have the same as Teresa's, a minute 45 seconds. Let's get over there now. You gals give those runners that final briefing, those last minute instructions. 
We will conduct our sweep right after this message. All set to run their first sweep are Teresa Sokolik and her husband, Joe, the number two challengers with one minute, 45 seconds of time. Rosemary Costa and her husband, Ralph, the number one challengers, have earned two minutes for their sweep. And our champions running for the third time with one minute, 45 seconds of time and winning of $562 are Beryl Fasati and her second alternate runner, another brother-in-law, John Fasati. <laughs> Runners, as you make your sweep with a 12 stock food pair, keep your eyes open for the five valuable bonus items that have been placed throughout the store, and they are a bouquet of flowers by Western Union to please someone special through the new service that now is available from Western Union that makes it easy to send flowers anywhere in the United States at the speed of a telegram. Price, $10. Placed elsewhere, a Morgan Jones Raleigh Tavern bedspread made of 100% carefree cotton. The fiber you can trust. Color fast, completely washable, for long-lasting beauty and dependability. Retailing at $22.95. Also in the store, a case of Peter Pan peanut butter. The easy-eaten peanut butter with a grown-up taste. Smooth or crunchy. Plus the $25 U.S. savings bond for a combined bonus worth $26.79. Placed elsewhere, a table and four chairs of Samsonite Woodland. Rugged, stain-resistant, vinyl and tubular steel folding furniture, retailing at $49.75. And the final bonus, a 9-inch personal portable television set from Admiral. The Playmate, a lightweight design with all-channel reception, telescopic swivel antenna, and front-mounted speaker, the price $79.95. Runners, keep an eye out for blue supermarket sweep pennants. They'll call your attention to those bonuses. Remember now, the retail value of the bonus will be added into your totals. Okay, Two minutes of time going off. Our number one challenger, Ralph, if you're ready, on your mark, get set, go! There goes Ralph Costa, our number one challenger, with two minutes of time running for his wife, Rose Marie. And he runs right back to the rear of the store. So let's see how much use he makes of this 15-second head start that he has. Because coming right behind him will be the champion, John Fasati. There he goes, along with Joe Sokolik. Joe Sokolik wearing the number two on his jersey. There's John Fasati. John is running for his sister-in-law, Beryl. And Joe, of course, in the number two jersey, running for his wife, Teresa. Each man with one minute, 45 seconds of time. Now, Costa, who has a 15-second advantage, is right there in front. Next comes the champ, John Fasati, and then Joe Sokolik behind him. Now, Ralph saw that he dropped something, and by the rules, he had to stop and pick it up, which he does. He reverses the field, goes back the other way. Here comes John again, John Fasati. He also goes in the opposite direction toward one of our cameras. Slides over toward the delicatessen counter. He's going after those big general salami. Now an exchange of charts being made by both Ralph Costa, the number one challenger, and Joe Sokolik, the number two challenger. So both challengers have gotten back and have gotten new cards. There goes Ralph. Empty cards, and they're back and acting with the second card. There's a bonus right over Ralph's head, right in front of him. It's the rest of Union telegraphed by a flowers by telegraph, but he didn't see it. Meantime, there's... Joe Sikolik, he's also now over toward the Bologna's. Ralph is whistling into the picture again. These boys really hustling now. Time becoming very important. Joe now, that's the turkey. He gets three of them, and a bonus over his head as well. A big bonus over Joe's head. See the flag hanging down? Now here comes Ralph. Does he see it? I thought he was going to go for it. No. He goes back. There's a bonus right in front of him. And he sees it. He finally saw it. Now he's going back after the turkey. And time is running out. They've got less than 10 seconds to get back. Here they come. That's the champion, John Fasati. Looks like uh, Ralph ran a bit of trouble in the corner. Here they come. Hey, all the back in time. And our official food fair checkers are probing to find out who's champion. We'll find out right after this message. Well, Teresa, you provided Joe with a minute 45 seconds. Here is your grand total. It's $262.12. I see you have one bonus here, the Peter Pan and the Bond, which is a $26 value, and your grand total is $290.66. That's fast so far. Well, Beryl, you've won two sweeps. Here's number three. No bonuses. You have to beat $290. Here's your grand total, $229. A new winner. And we'll see you back here on tomorrow's program. Hope to see you back here as well. Bill Malone, so long for now. Our specially equipped mobile home for contestant use furnished by Nashua Mobile Homes. Supermarket Sweep's official carrier is Atlas Van Line, serving the Americas and over 90 countries.
Next week, Supermarket Sweep visits Wilmington, Delaware. The following week, we'll be in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Chicago, Illinois, and Rochester, New York. Join us again tomorrow here in Margate. This is Richard Hayes speaking. This program was pre-recorded. <laughs>